Welcome to Waypoint of View. We're Jess and Miles, and we're on a worldwide journey to broaden our perspectives by putting ourselves somewhere new on the map. After such a great first impression in Armenia's capital city of Yerevan, it's time for a road trip to explore more of this beautiful country. We are officially on the road, and over the next week, we're going to be making a loop around a good portion of the country. Armenia is only about the size of the state of Maryland, but there is a lot to see, and today we're heading to Arni, but we're going to be making a detour first thing this morning to check out a couple sites around the town of Garni. Our first stop is here at the Gagard Monastery, which is one of roughly 4,000 churches and monasteries here in the country. Fun fact, Armenia was actually the first country in the world to adopt Christianity as its state religion. So as you can imagine, we're going to be seeing a lot of churches and monasteries over the next week. And this one is at the end of what seems like a dead-end mountain road right here in a beautiful gorge. It is almost time for lunch, but we have made a quick stop at the Garni Temple. This is very unique here in Armenia because it is the only temple from pre-Christian times still standing. From what we understand, all of the others were destroyed, but this one was pretty tough to get to, so it's still here. It is right here on the edge of the Garni Gorge, and it is so different than the monastery we just came from. It honestly feels like it's more from the ancient Greek times. All right, it is time for lunch, and we have come to Sergei's place right here in the middle of Garni. But before we sit down to eat, we are going to learn about how lavish is made. So lavish is the traditional Armenian flatbread served with basically every meal. And it's made in a clay oven in the ground like this. And this is so cool to get to see the process of lavish being made. to give it a try. The dough is quite simple. It's just flour and water and salt, but the process of making lavash looked far from easy. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to be rolling it out, hopefully into a thin layer. Just like this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> And now Miles is going to take it over from here. If you watched me try to make bread in Cairo, you will understand why this is where my part is going to end. <laughs> okay. You did so good. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> oh no. I think I'm just gonna do this. Oh, well, too much? Oh! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> too much! <laughs> and I quote, oh, no! One, two... And slap it on the side. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, no. One more time! Oh. No. Oh, oh, it, it fell off. It almost wanted to stay. Oh, well, that was about as big of a fail as you can get. Right there. <laughs> she oh, makes wow. it look very easy. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's not what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> we have some cheese and some fresh greens, and it's time to try the lavish fresh out of the oven. Okay. 
Mm. It is warm and flaky and crunchy and so delicious. We have moved our lavish feast to the table, but I really need to stop eating this because I am not going to be hungry for all of the barbecue we just ordered. Mm. That's really good. You're gonna love that. We have come to our final monastery of the day. We are here at Korvarap, which is set right on top of this hill, right in front of Mount Ararat. There are some clouds building on the mountain, but the views are still unbelievable. stop this morning is just outside of Arni at the Norvank Monastery and this might just be my favorite one yet. It is right in the middle of this beautiful canyon with towering mountains on both sides. The detail of the stonework here is really impressive. They've even got a staircase carved right in the face of one of the churches that takes you to the second level. So our plan today is to head a couple hours south to Goris, but we couldn't leave this region without first trying some wine. Armenia is actually one of the first, if not the first country to produce wine in the world, and we've just stopped at the Old Bridge Winery for a wine tasting. Our tasting also comes with this beautiful spread of fresh cheeses and nuts, olives, fruit, and bread. I'm very excited. thousand year old grape. No big deal. Like a pro. Mm. Wow. Well, that had to be one of our favorite wine tastings, and the winery is actually named after an old bridge that's just down the hill. It honestly hasn't been easy to find, but it looks like it's going to be worth the detour. <laughs> impress and surprise me. This waterfall is just a five minute walk from the parking lot. This is going to be our last stop for today, but we are excited to get to Goris and explore more there tomorrow. Mm -hmm.